Uh, let me do this integral by two methods. Uh, method one is substitution. I uh, substitute, well, uh, let, uh, let uh, theta be the arctangent x. <coughs> well, obviously, to get rid of the inverse tangent, <coughs> so x is equal to tangent theta. Then my integral becomes e to theta, right? dx is a secant square theta, d theta. <coughs> 1 plus x square is 1 plus square of tangent, that is secant. Secant is square root, and the third time becomes secant cube theta. Okay, then <coughs> to cancel a secant square, one of us secant is cosine. So my integral becomes e to the power of theta, cosine theta, d theta. Yeah, it's a very easy now. Obviously, we are doing by parts, right? So this one is equal to integral d and uh, d sine theta. <coughs> this is a u, this is a v. u dv is equal to uv u times v minus v du minus integral v, v is this. du is e to the power of theta, d theta. <coughs> then uh, I write uh, this one into e to the, the e to the power of theta and the d cosine theta. <coughs> d cosine is a negative sign. They have a change of plus. <coughs> And this is equal to e to the theta d sine theta plus u v u v minus v d u. V is cosine, right? Uh, d u is uh, e to the theta d theta. <coughs> That is exactly my uh, original integral. Therefore, if this is i, then, well, 2i is equal to e to the cosine theta, right? This is i. The two i becomes this. Therefore, my <coughs> my i, which is which is equal to one half sine theta plus cosine theta. Let's see. <coughs> now, I have to convert theta back to x, right? Theta is a... Uh, x is a tangent theta. So if this is a theta, if this is a theta, this is x and 1, right? Tangent tangent theta is, is x. So this will be 1 plus x squared. <coughs> Therefore, my integral is one half e to the arctangent x 
sine theta, sine theta is uh, x over that, right? X, x over this plus cosine theta is uh, cosine theta is a one over plus c, right? So my i is equal to one half e to the arctangent x. No, I don't need a one plus x square, one plus x. Yeah, that is my theory answer <coughs> by method one. Okay. Now method two. So uh, let me use a nice paper. Is integral e to the arctangent x dx one plus x square to the <coughs> okay. Now, uh, I have this, look, this is, uh, this is the problem we have. Well, uh, I know that, I try actually, the derivative, the derivative of x over square root 1 plus x square, is equal to <clears throat> um, well uh, that is a quotient rule right 1 plus x square <clears throat> the numerator it would be the derivative of the numerator is 1 times this minus x times this derivative. This derivative is a 2 square root 1, one plus a square 2x. So this one is equal to 1 plus 1 plus x square multiplied by this. So this is, becomes 1x square and uh, minus minus uh, x square, huh? Yeah, dx. <clears throat> so this is equal to dx over one plus x square, three uh, three halves. So in other words, this could be equal equivalent to that. This is equal to this. So my integral could be written as a integral e to the power of a arctangent x d x one plus x square. This is equal to that, which is exactly the given given integral. So. <clears throat> I can do this by parts. This is u, this is dv, right? So it is e to the power of arctangent x times x over 1 plus x square. That's a uv. Minus v du. Okay, v. v is this. x 1 plus x square. Du, du is e to the arctangent x times the derivative of arctangent 
which is 1 over x squared and the dx. Okay, that's uh, that's good. Now let me re let me organize the well. This is e to the power of octangent x times x over square root one plus x square minus integral. <coughs> That is uh, e to the power of tangent and uh, multiply by x over 1 plus x squared, 3 halves, then dx. Okay, good. Now, also that, <laughs> also that the derivative of uh, 1 over square root 1 plus x square, which is equal to the <coughs> negative 1 over this square, which is uh, this negative, times the, deri the derivative of this, which is 2, 1 plus x square, and 2x. So this dx, which is equal to 1 plus x squared to the 3 halves and negative x dx. In other words, this, this could be written as a negative this. This is a negative that. So this becomes e to the arctangent x multiply by x over mm. yeah plus right this is equal to negative negative that so plus e to the arctangent x and the d one over Yeah, this is equal to negative that is equal to the negative that. <clears throat> then we are using by parts again. So this one is equal to you know, e x to the e to the arctangent x 1 plus x square plus now this is u, this is dv, right? So it's equal to uv, u, v, minus v du, v is this. v is this, du is this, right? and uh, dx vdu vdu does e to octangent x so that's exactly the original integral so when we move over there, therefore i is equal to one half of that. Yeah. Well, we get the same answer. <coughs> yeah, same answer as in the method of one. Okay. Thank you for your watching.